Okay, so let's get to light and reflection. So we're going to try to make uh, something like this just by using uh, light attributes and by changing the reflection. This is our scene. Our main object is in the middle. Uh, we also have three lights around and one uh, in front of the main object. And we also have a light mixer enabled. I've already baked the light, so I'm not going to do that. It is going to just take a couple of seconds. So uh, just like this one, uh, the first thing that we have is this reflection. And after that, the light starts uh, from this side and goes all around. Let's do that. Uh, I'm not tr uh, trying to uh, make the exact animation, it is going to look a little bit different, but uh, hopefully you will uh, learn how to use them. So let's enable X-Ray, and now disable Grid. We start by the left light, and let's view it from here. So at first we didn't have anything until the blinking, uh, until the blinking ends, and then from around here then let's set a keyframe a little bit later we're going to have this light and a little bit after that we're going to have this other light and after that we are going to get uh, this one. And around the same time, let's see what. Oh, let's limit the frame rate. So now it looks something like this. Well, we, we can make it a little bit uh, smoother by. Uh, blending uh, keyframes and just move them a little bit back so before this one finishes uh, the other one starts showing up so let's just move it around here and this one Okay, and at the end, around here, I think, we should have the front light also uh, showing the logo and all of that. So, maybe around here, we start to get this one. Or just a little bit back. Yeah, something like that. Now let's get to the reflection. So for setting, uh, for animating the reflection, all you need to do is just set a keyframe for the reflection actor. Uh, I use two reflection actor, one for the uh, main body and the other one for the lenses. So this one controls that part and this one controls the overall reflection of the body. So before the light uh, shows up, we actually want uh, some reflection. And to do that, uh, let me just move the keyframe for all of these lights. So right now, as you can see, we don't get any reflection in the dark area, and the reflection only comes uh, after we hit the light. And on metal surfaces, you actually have a new attribute in the recent updates, which is going to control the light map intensity of the metal surfaces. So it is going to, you can find it in the extra attributes, and if I lower it down, 
can see that uh, we get the reflection even the on the dark areas so even when we don't have any light we can still see the reflection and I'm going to set a keyframe to this light map intensity so let's uh, set it now and in a a bit lighter let's just lower it or maybe faster something like this and as you can see the keying didn't work uh, this uh, can be fixed uh, quite easily just open the node editor uh, select this material and let's take a look at its connections this one is the animation for the light map intensity and all you need to do to make it uh, show up in real time is just to uh, pass it through a multiply divide mode I'm going to just connect it to this one yeah set it here and just by doing that it is now working so let's modify the keys a little bit more so it shows up more slowly and also I'm going to set a keyframe for the metalness because uh, if we set it completely uh, yeah this is actually how it is if we set it to complete uh, metalness it is going to look like this which we needed for the beginning of the animation but uh, at the end of the animation when we have all the lights if uh, in total metalness it is just going to look very dark so I am going to just decrease it uh, to somewhere around here and we can just set a keyframe for that as well so uh, let's say that uh, from here till around here the metal is just gets this much changes okay now let's animate the reflections so this one I'm going to just set key from here until the very end I'm going to just rotate it a little bit it's going to look yeah maybe it needs to rotate more faster yeah this is a little bit better now uh, you can of course uh, tweak it more to achieve the perfect result that you are looking for but uh, I'm just trying to explain the tools so uh, I guess this is enough for now and we can also modify the uh, speed of the lights so let's just move them a little bit make them show up a slower yeah something like this okay so if uh, at some point the reflection the object looked uh, very black so for example let's uh, check it here yeah so now even at the very end when I lower the metalness it still looks very dark and maybe this is the re desired result that uh, you want but if you don't uh, want it and you just want to have a normal shading just select the object object and press the update shader uh, when the metalness is in the middle or lower than one and that is going to fix it for you now let's just add animation for the middle as well okay so now uh, let's let me just set a keyframe and you can see that it just rotates all around 
and this uh, because uh, I've already rotated the reflection a little bit to get all these highlights and then uh, there is probably an issue with the gimbal and we can just fix that uh, by using the gimbal uh, mode on the rotation and let's just rotate it like this and now we have it working just fine but uh, I actually wanted it to, to be the opposite direction so let's use this frame for the beginning and at the end it goes this way yeah something like that too fast but okay Okay, this is pretty much it. All the things you need for the making different type of uh, lighting and reflection animation. I hope you find this uh, tutorial useful.